A young man believed to be a teenager has died following that jet ski accident in Killaloo in County Clare. A body has been recovered from the lake following an extensive search and uh, the boy was pronounced dead at the scene. Joining me now is Fiona Cahill, Head of News at Clare FM. Fiona, good morning. Good morning, Pat. This is a, a tragic accident. A lot of people have been on the water these uh, last few days, the weather being so uh, warm, and many, many more will be on the water over the weekend. Can you tell us uh, the detail of what happened? Absolutely, Pat. And I suppose it's fair to say there's a sense of shock in the Clue Ballina area this morning following the incident. And it took place in an area known locally as Between the Waters in Killaloo, which is just below the bridge there in Loch Derg. It's often described as a very calm, peaceful, a very tranquil and inviting area. And it's very popular for water activities like boating and swimming. And it's often used by jet ski users, especially around the time of the year when uh, the weather's fine. Um, yesterday afternoon, it's understood a young man visiting the area with friends launched a jet ski in Ballina. At around five o'clock, he was travelling close to the bridge on the jet ski with two girls and then something happened that caused the craft to overturn. The two girls, who are believed to be from the local area, reported had been wearing their life jackets. They managed to make their way back to the shore with the help of bystanders, but the young man unfortunately went underwater. Emergency services were dispatched just after five o'clock yesterday evening and yeah. an extensive search and rescue operation then got underway involving a guard, the Clare County Fire and Rescue Service, the Killaloo Coast Guard, and the Killana, Killaloo Ballina search and rescue that got underway. Um, the Shannon based Coast Guard helicopter Rescue 105 was also uh, tasked to the scene. So then, Pat, at around a half seven, the body of the young man, who's believed to be in his late teens, he said he's from the Limerick area, was discovered south of Killaloo Bridge on the Limerick side, and a recovery operation got underway. He was pronounced dead at the scene, and his body was subsequently removed to the mortuary at University Hospital Limerick for a post mortem examination. Now, uh, the, the, the two girls who were also on the jet ski, they were wearing life jackets. Um, yes. uh, therefore, they stayed afloat and uh, they were helped to shore or did they manage to make their own way to shore? They were. These two girls, they're believed to be from the local area, young girls. Um, they were helped to, sh- to shore. They were able to swim. They had their life jackets on them, so they were OK. But unfortunately, the young man, um, I-, I believe he didn't have a life jacket on. He unfortunately went underwater. Um, an investigation now is underway to determine the cause of that incident. And Gardaí say they're treating it as a-, as a tragic accident. And the Marine Casualty Investigation Board is also going to be carrying out an investigation um, into, now, into the incident. That particular area, is there much jet ski activity there because um, often you know there are swimmers in the water uh, and you know they're, they're, everyone who's operating a motorised device be it a speedboat or a jet ski you know they have to uh, stay clear of swimmers uh, which might bring them into uh, closer proximity to things like bridges and that than otherwise might be the case. That's it. It's actually, it's a very busy area, Pat, and often this time of year, especially when you have the sunshine, it was a roasting day here in Clare yesterday, it was absolutely beautiful. You would have had a lot of boating activity around, you would have had a lot of swimmers around, uh, and a lot of jet, jet ski activity, and it, it, there, it's a traditional thing that happens every year, and um, it would be used quite a lot by jet ski users, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, well, a, a cautionary tale, a tragic tale uh, for the family of that uh, young man from Limerick, uh, a narrow escape for the two local girls, but a cautionary tale for anyone contemplating going out on the water uh, this weekend. It only takes a moment for a tragedy to yeah. unfold. Absolutely. Fiona. Yeah, and speaking to, yeah, and speaking to me earlier, the Mayor of Clare Killaloo um, based Councillor Tony O'Brien, he extended his sympathy to the family and friends of the young man um, and not to all involved. And then he urged people as well taking part in walk water activities this weekend in the area to stay safe and to respect the water. Fiona Kyle, Head of News at Clare FM, thank you very much for uh, joining us.